Hello everyone, Joseph Dunphy here, and this is your weekly Grass 10 grazing management update on the Dairy Edge. Pasture Base Ireland figures for the week are average farm covers of 848 kilos of dry matter per hectare and grass growth rates of 5 kilos of dry matter per hectare. Dry matter percentages for the week are 16% in Athenry County Galway, 19% in Oak Park County Carlow, 16% in Moore Park County Cork, and 20% in Grange County Mead. So take note of these figures when completing your next grass walk. Looking at this week's predicted grass growth, rainfall and soil temperatures, grass growth is expected to increase this week as warmer weather approaches Ireland. This week's predictions are for growth of between 9 and 12 kilos of dry matter per hectare. Soil temperatures should also increase significantly to between 8 and 9 degrees. Rainfall predictions are for between 20 to 30 millimetres of rain for the north, the west and the southwest, with the south and the east predicted to receive about 10 to 15 millimetres of rain, which should in general improve grazing conditions and land trafficability over the next seven days. From a grazing point of view, this week is about taking opportunities as they arise between the showers. Many farmers I have been talking to are now nicely into Cavan, with between 30 to 50% calved, so good grazing power is beginning to appear on farm. Over the next week, use the many different tools available to you to maximise your ability to get grass in the diet, such as on-off grazing for three hours, using paddocks with good grazing infrastructure, paddocks with multiple access points to minimise damage, and using spur roadways and back fencing. A three-hour block of grazing by day this week, from 11 o'clock until 2 o'clock, is a good way of getting animals tuned back into grazing. This week's featured farmer, Enda Armstrong from County Galway, had an open and average farm cover of 963 kilos of dry matter per hectare and has about 8% of his farm grazed so far in February. He's grazing by day at the minute with cows for the last week out between 11 and 3. Their grazing covers of between 8 and 1100 kilos of dry matter per hectare at the minute and he's allocating about 7 kilos of grass when they're out. They're getting 4 kilos of meal in the parlour and about 4 kilos of silage at night. Silage management is very, very important, especially in difficult grazing conditions. So after the morning milking, on Enda's farm, the cows have no access to silage from about 8 o'clock until 11 o'clock, so they have an appetite for grazing when they go out. From a nutrient point of view, Enda has about 2,500 gallons per acre, of dilute slurry on about 15% of the grazing platform and he will apply about 18 units of nitrogen per acre when weather conditions look more settled. Speaking about early spring nitrogen, when we spread early spring nitrogen we are looking to maximise the pasture production on farm and also increase the nitrogen response later on in spring. Research clearly shows that when February nitrogen is skipped we lose pasture production during February but we also have a lower nitrogen response later in March. So the correct rate at the correct time in the correct conditions is very beneficial to grass growth. A warmer week is forecast, so soil temperatures are expected to rise along with growth rates for the next seven days. Land trafficability will have to improve on many farms before chemical nitrogen or slurry is spread, but it is important to be ready to take the opportunity when it arises. 1.5 tonne or one pallet of 46% protected urea applied at a rate of 23 units per acre or a half a bag will cover about 60 acres or 24 hectares. So have some nitrogen ready to go in your yard. If applying chemical nitrogen ensure that soil temperatures are above 6 degrees and rising, that land trafficability is very good and also to check the forecast to make sure that no heavy rainfall is expected. A reminder that the recommended rate is between 20 and 23 units of nitrogen per acre or 25 to 29 kilos of N per hectare applied on land that has not received slurry. And the table for recommended nitrogen and slurry up to the 1st of April is in this week's Grass 10 newsletter. If you would like to hear more from the Grass 10 team, subscribe to the weekly Grass 10 newsletter, which is available on the Grass 10 page on the Chagas public website. And the link to the newsletter is also available in the description of this podcast. This has been your Grass 10 update and I'll talk to you all next week.